this is Casey Patey of the InspiredOffice.com. I am a Washington DC based professional organizer focusing on offices, paper, desktops, files, going digital, going paperless, all of those things that go along with organizing an office. However, when I'm organizing for myself, my focus really is on letting go of objects in my home that I no longer love, that I no longer use. I want to be a minimalist. I feel like I, I am in many respects, but I realize that it takes work every single day. As long as things are coming in, things have to go out. So just because organizing is something that feels very natural to me, I do it for a living, doesn't mean it's always easy. I'm still not to the point where I can, you know, on any given day, go through my home and say, this stays, this goes, this stays, this goes. It's not always that clear. Now, since I am pretty good at letting go of things. I've gotten rid of all of the easy stuff. So now I'm left with the really hard stuff and I'm sentimental about a lot of things, particularly the things that I picked up during my study abroad stint in Bali, Indonesia in the year 2000. Best decision I've ever made was to study abroad in Bali. Yes, very lucky girl. And I picked up a lot of things while I was there art and batiks and tchotchkes and objects and Buddha heads, you name it. So there's a lot from my trip to Bali, trips to Bali, that I love and I display and I see every single day that are incorporated into my home. But now that it's been so many years, um, well over a decade since I was there, um, I'm realizing that there are things from that trip that I hang on to just out of, you know, a, just for the sake of keeping a memento and I'm not necessarily using them. So today I'm going to let go of this really beautiful batik sheet. While I was there, um, I bought, it wasn't a sheet set, it was just a simple flat sheet. And at the time, you know, in my early 20s and when I was graduating from college, I used this palette a lot. I really liked the, you know, tropical batik Indonesian purples, pinks, brights, and now I've just kind of toned it down a bit. It's not really my, you know, decorating scheme anymore. And it's, it's really beautiful. It's, it's hand batiked. It's, you know, gorgeous. It's in great shape, but I simply don't need it because now I have three sets, three complete sets of sheets. And I just, I haven't used this at all. So I know somebody's going to love it. I know somebody's going to find it in a thrift store. I'm going to donate it somewhere and somebody's going to be really happy to have this, you know, gorgeous high thread count homemade Balinese bed sheet. The other pieces I'm willing to let go from the from the Bali collection are some paintings that I have. I have four really beautiful, you know, hand-drawn, hand-painted Balinese works of art, really. So let's see, I've got this. Yeah, I've got four here. This black and white one, which is beautiful. They're all um, Hindu goddesses. And then I have, just so you can see them, I have these colored ones. Um, yes, they're beautiful. Yes, they're sentimental. Um, a friend's mother, I think, painted them. See, I'm even fuzzy on the stories this many years out. But notice that they're still rolled up. My intention when I bought these and brought them home was to frame them. I was going to, you know, pay money, go out, get them custom framed, but I never did. And now that was the year 2000, you know, let's say it's <clears throat> been 14 years and I still haven't framed these. I think it's time to let them go. They're gorgeous. Yes, they, you know, are full of really great memories. They're, you know, one of a kind, fine detail works of original art. But, you know, if you have anything in your home that you've been meaning to frame for the last 15 years and you haven't done it yet, get rid of them. So if you have any objects that hold a lot of beautiful memories from past trips or past times, but you're not displaying them or, you're maybe not displaying them, but you're displaying other things you've picked up from the trip that you actually do use and love and look at every day. Then take the ones from those times, from those trips, 
and let them go. I'm going to donate that sheet and I'm going to probably sell these on eBay. I think somebody will, you know, be really happy to find a, a lot, a stash of four Balinese paintings. And you know, yes, it's hard to, to let them go, but just because they're beautiful and they were a gift to me, doesn't mean I have to keep them forever. So please, in the comments, leave for me all of the things that you're gonna get rid of now that you've seen me get rid of my, my sheets, my fine art from a beautiful, beautiful time in my life. I'm really curious to see what you guys are, are able to let go of now. So if you like this video, please watch all of the other videos I have as part of this minimalism series. I'm going through my home, getting rid of one thing at a time and giving you the story. So hopefully you can share your stories with me as well. And please visit theinspiredoffice.com. There you will see my blog, which is full of other inspirational ideas and posts on how to live a better life with less. Thanks for stopping by. Mm -hmm.